hail and well met fellow travelers. Welcome to the gatehouse for the Gizmonic Quarter. I am your Grandmaster. Cheers. It has been a hot minute or 20 or I don't know, like <laughs> 4,000. It's been a while. Um, it has been a long time since I streamed. And um, I appreciate you guys being here. Um, I'm just trying to make sure everything is all good and set up. It's, uh, yeah. It's uh, going to be interesting here. <laughs> it's, uh, I haven't uh, uh, been here for a while, and um, yeah, I'm hopeful that uh, this is all going to work correctly. So uh, let me just double check everything. It looks okay. Um, I do need to do something real quick here, though. Let me go do this. I need to fix. I need to fix one thing. Oh wow! Holy Hannah! Oh okay. Um, that's fine. Let me just do some do some quick work here some live stream editing while we're here um i do let's see chat for yes okay cool but i need to add um browser sorry uh i am changing some stuff around because we can restream we are now both live on twitch and youtube cool uh, but there are restrictions, so I have to make sure that I've got everything working correctly here. So uh, just give me one second. I got to move this guy down and that guy to there. Cool. And then I have to copy this guy and put it into there. And my camera is the wrong camera <clears throat> okay <clears throat> never mind you won't be using that one <laughs> that's fine so um a couple of reasons i haven't streamed actually there's been quite a lot of reasons why i haven't been streaming um the first is that um i've been having some serious significant problems with my voice um I've gone to ENTs, I've gone to a bunch of different groups, uh, all trying to figure out like what's going on, how things are happening, that kind of stuff. And it has been um, a massive challenge. So what I've learned is that there's nothing structurally wrong with my vocal co cords, which is awesome. Yay, us. Um, however, um, there is definitely something going on and we don't know what it is, but... Um, there's either a lot of stress in here that I'm holding in here um, or something else. And what's going on is that it is causing me to lose my voice or to have a very breathy voice. And the reason I thought I might have had something structurally wrong, like another node on my vocal cords, because I had that before, um, is because it is taking a lot of breath and support to get sound out. And so um, it has been a challenge. However, um, this year has been a thing. Uh, so I was working a job and unfortunately I lost that job, uh, in, uh, September. It was my last, my last day of work was in September. And, um, while I was working, I had substantial funds available. And so I started making a game. I'm making a game called Round Table. It's a trading card game. Uh, based on the legends of King Arthur, you play uh, a monarch who is trying to assemble an army of knights and send them to capture different regions. You grant them titles, you grant them, you give them equipment, uh, send them on quests, that kind of stuff. And then you try to conquer regions of Britain and bring them under your control. And whoever gets the most renown from the territories they capture wins the game. And uh, I poured in thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars into making that happen. Uh, did a Kickstarter in August that was successful and we're trying to get it all done. So my whole 2023 has been trying to get this game from, hey, this is a cool idea I've been working on for almost a decade to, hey, let's get this done so we can publish it and actually go see it in a game store in the wild at some point. That would be cool. And, um, yeah, so we've been working on that. But while I was employed, I had, you know, we were doing pretty well on paying down debt. And so we were investing some of our money into making the game work. 
and um, we did a pretty good job there. Uh, and then I lost my job. And now suddenly I'm in the situation where I'm trying to make this game work and I don't have any funding. And so that was fun. Um, but what we are doing right now is, so I've, I've got that, but I haven't had a job. So I haven't been like having to be on my laptop talking every day for eight hours a day. Um, so most of my work has been remote for the past three years. Thank you, COVID, for that at least. Um, and I've been able to do some stuff to, um, you know, sort of get my voice back into a point where it's sort of reasonable. Um, and so I thought, you know what? It has been a long time since I streamed and we've been playing Return to Moria. Uh, my son and I actually, Mr. Godzilla TV and I have been playing Return to Moria and, um, just kind of decided that um, this is kind of a fun game and I do want to spend a little bit of time, especially over the next couple of um, uh, hours, kind of going through some of the basic stuff. So, you know, there's a lot of just sort of like a lot of tips and tricks videos out there about Return to Moria um, and a lot of playthroughs. Uh, but, you know, I've learned some stuff playing my playthroughs. And so I thought I would go ahead and do that and then try to capture some of the learnings that I've had so that um, I can share that with the community at large. So anyway, um, just want to make sure this is all working. It is cool. Oh, actually, you know what? I don't need that guy because I've got that guy. Sorry. Squirrel. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and jump into Return to Moria. If I can find the right thing here. It's been a while. All righty, here we are. Yay. Okay. Me. there okay hey <clears throat> so this is my dude his name is rory you can see i have two other uh guys behind me here there's two other dwarves uh bulliver and stone hewer stone hewer was my first sort of playthrough by myself just i was going to record it and then do what i was doing with um night of the uh the um night of the dead and uh, on my youtube channel and i just said you know what no nah, no i'll just play it and so I played it and like I learned a lot of stuff. And then I brought that back to my games with my son and we were able to, you know, like, hey, I know that we have to do X because I did X over here. And so it helped kind of, you know, we were sort of leapfrogging in both scenarios. Um, my son's and my game is much further along now than my Stone Hewer game. But um, the first character I ever made was Bulliver. He's actually named after a ninth level dwarven fighter that I had from Advanced Dungeons and Dragons 40 years ago. So um, anyway, um, yeah, he's a lot of fun. And we're going to be moving into now Rory, who is brand new. So you guys are going to get to see like the beginning of the game. And then we're going to go in and play the game. So I'm going to play this offline because that's what we do. But uh, welcome. Can you guys hear that? Every attempt you made has failed. This is a sign. No signs or So yeah, but it's really quiet. Hold on, I'm gonna make that this is the time louder. Today we get into that mountain. There we go. That's a little better. Yeah, weren't those doors destroyed by the watcher in the water? Now why didn't I think of that before? <clears throat> Did your best. On to plan B. Ah, finally. Plan B? Is that oh, why old wards are Scottish, fire? I don't know. I'd stand back if I were you. This is madness. Gimli, you can't. We have to wait for Durin. Durin's not here. We have to do this ourselves. Maybe this will wake him up. Limin Barak, Limin Tagaz, Kazad Dashti. Oh no, Lord Gimli, this is another sign. Oh, hammer of tongs. It's the fourth age. Nothing is going to stop us. You heard Lord Gimli? Let's go. Yeah, let's go. 
Yes, nice and tight. Come on, help him out. Uh-oh. Ooh. <coughs> Bad evil shadow crap. Oh, I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> that was no normal dwarf blast. No, it wasn't. All right, I have to gather supplies. So first thing we're gonna do. Um, so you'll see here if you hit G, you end up with all of your your uh, items up here that you can look at. These are things like your journal. Uh, your recipes for building and construction, that kind of stuff. So this will tell you like everything that you need to know. And you can see up here, if I close this, you'll see in the upper right corner, it has that little uh, diamond with a star in it. That's telling you how many notifications you have. So when you come in here, you'll see I've got five notifications in here. Look at that. One, two, here's Gimli's company. There's three, four. So, and then there's another, this is my appendices. And for some reason, it's not saying I've got one more that I don't have. There you are. Okay, well, anyway, here's your map. Um, each of these areas is laid out like a room in like a dungeon. And so what you're seeing here is um, like what, what it does, what it seems to be doing is it's like taking rooms and then linking them together to form Moria, which is an interesting idea from a game development perspective. <clears throat> but um, it really simplifies the game. You simply have you know, like blocks that you stick together and those blocks have a predefined contents and layout. And then you can just orient them and plug them in and this this entrance goes with this exit and that kind of thing. Um, and then that way you can customize, you can create programmatically a, a new experience every time you play the game, which is kind of cool. Um, so here's your map. You can see that there's some space here. There's a thing down here we have to go to. You can't zoom in really far, so just be kind of aware of that, that you're not going to get fine levels of granularity on the map. You're going to get high level. It's going to be from a high higher level of um, visibility. So you're not going to see a lot there. Um, so here's our, our, our crafting. We have to gather some wood. We have to craft uh, a, a torch. Um, here's our building plans that we have. We've got two things. There's wooden stone and then there's like improvements, I think it is. We'll find that out in a second. So here's rope ladder. We need some natural fiber. We're not going to get that until we get into the mines. That's much later. And then here's a quick platform. Once we get wood scraps, we'll be able to actually go in and build things like quick platforms and stuff. And those are really good for being able to move around vertically within the uh, the mines. And there's a lot of times we have to do that. So first thing I have to do here is go around and try to collect stuff. Gotta can't find ourselves a torch here. Where is everything? My gods. Oh, hold on. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, I'm also in darkness and I died. <laughs> I took too long. I've already died. Hi, here we are. We're back. <laughs> Oh, it's pathetic. All right. Yeah, look. Hi, it's Rory. Oh, hey, how are you doing? Take the scout pack. I don't need the scout pack. Do I? Do I need this? I do need the scout pack. Okay. All right. Did I equip it? I equipped it. That, this is terrible. Um, yeah, I just I just took too long to get the stuff. <laughs> All right. Let's craft ourselves a torch. There we go. And now I can do that. And now I'm no longer in darkness and I will not despair, which is good. So. Uh, all right, so here we are, and you can see you know, the beginning of the, the game here. There's not a lot here. Um, there are some things that you do need to get, though. So as you are kind of exploring things, do make sure that you get as much out of here as you can, because you are going to need the to get as much stuff early in the game as you can. So don't leave anything behind. Instead, try to make sure that you get as much as you can. So there's some more wood scraps. Um, there's some stuff over here, some wood scraps, but make sure you explore like all of the spaces because 
Uh, last time I was down here, there was like a lot of other stuff down here. There's a lot of some metal scraps and stuff, and those are going to be useful for repairing items, for making things like your makeshift pickaxe that you're going to need, that kind of stuff. All right, I think we've got everything out of there. You can come back here, uh, but you don't really want to if you can avoid it, because there's like really not that much over here. So lots of more wood scraps. We can make more. Uh, we can make platforms and stuff. We can also make more. Uh, torches if we need to. Alright, and then here's a pit of despair. Now the nice thing is, there's a couple of interesting things about how the game is set up. Yeah, there you go. Alright, let's make, a, let's make a pickaxe. We've crafted a simple pickaxe, yay. So now we've got, our appendices are updated. Look, pickaxes. So there's some lamps and torches. It tells you about lamps and torches. Later on, you're going to get into the ability to have uh, like a miner's helmet that's going to have a built-in torch with it. You put a candle in it, and then it um, will let you um, just it'll light the area for you without you having to carry something extra, which can be really useful when you have like two-handed weapons. Um, so I'm going to dig through the rubble, which we will do in a minute, but I want to grab this stuff. Metal fragments, metal fragments, metal fragments very useful in the early game so again try to explore as much as you can of this space to get as many of these as you can um and we can light these braziers There's some more wood scraps and we can actually break apart oh there we go these um you see we're breaking apart this wood here get more wood scraps There we go. So yeah, so you, like I said, what you want to do as much as possible is try to get, uh, I'm going to put this in here um, and I'll put that in there. There we go. Move that to there, move that to there. Cool. All right. But you want to try to get as much of this stuff as you can at the beginning, again, because it's going to be really useful um, later on to have this extra stuff. <clears throat> Do you need to? No. Are you going to find enough stuff later on, especially stone? Oh my god, yes. Uh, but in the early game, sometimes it can be a challenge. You don't want to have to like be having to go out to go find stone while you're um, waiting for something to happen. So. All right, hold on a second. <clears throat> Turn off my phone. All right, there's some more metal fragments. Okay, and then here is some dirt, and we can pile through this dirt. Now, the dirt you can uh, break through pretty quickly, uh, as you can see here. We're not having to go do a lot of extra work here to get through this. When you get into the um, different kinds of ores and stuff, it takes a little bit longer to dig through those. Uh, just be aware that it's not a um, immediate kind of thing. It does take some time. You have to dig and then it will start to um, dig into the um, uh, the actual ore itself. So I've got the mushrooms again, collecting everything we can. This is where my need to collect all the things comes in handy. And we got some cloth strips now. So uh, we've got some things that we can do now with that. Oh, we're honoring this dwarf, this fallen dwarf. So now we have um, uh, what's called a hero's token. If we get enough of those, we can build a memorial that will give us a, a temporary buff. All right. Let me just make sure. So here's some more stuff. I mean, you could break apart all of this stuff here and get more... Um, wood scraps and stuff if you wanted to. You don't have to. I'm not going to at this point because I think we're okay with that. But um, I think I might want to grab this stuff real quick. I'm breaking something. When you see the numbers like that, um, that does mean that you are doing damage to something. I just don't know what I'm doing damage to. But I'm doing damage to something. Oh, I'm doing damage to that pillar. Never mind. I don't need damage to that pillar. 
you can see that the pillar was just starting to get a little bit more uh it started to get um i'll show you if you look oh and there we go i broke it it gets you'll see like sort of little, little bits of damage occurring to it over time so if you look at it closely you can actually see little um uh like uh like almost like a patina forming on it or little cracks bumping into it and stuff so that lets you know that you're you're damaging something and you're and that you're making and that it'll show you kind of like hey look i'm i'm doing some damage to this thing and here's what's going on with it hi no that's not what i said e are you from our camp thank the winds i am Arik, son of Arak. yours is the only friendly face here what's happened to the rest of the camp I cannot tell. A curse. Ill curse. It blocks me. Could you search for another way out? For any other survivors? I will search. You go east. See what you can find. I will fly to you when I come. Yeah. Yeah, do that. Okay. All right. Um, all right I'm going to grab some more mushrooms here mushrooms are really good for uh, a variety of reasons there's a lot of recipes that use mushrooms uh, so you're going to want to collect mushrooms when you can now one of the things about the food especially things like cranberries or mushrooms that they will grow back uh, and what you have to do is that you have to actually go in and you, you can wait for them and you usually get um, two of them like for instance, you'll get two mushrooms. And so what you can do is that if you see, if you pick one up, like after a day, it will grow one, but then after a second day, it'll grow another one. So you can actually um, get more if you are picking it up for the first time or you wait a little bit to harvest it again. But if you need it, you need it. So, um, and since we needed to satisfy our hunger, we just did that. So, okay, cool. All right, now there's some stuff here that we could break. And let's see, there's more stuff over here, kind of back where we were, but I mean, you can get the idea that there's a lot of stuff here that we can use, that we can uh, go break apart. So now let's keep going, because we got to keep digging our way forward. <clears throat> um, one of the really interesting things that they do in the game is there's no leveling. So your, your character doesn't get any better than they are right now, which is kind of cool. Um, but it also does mean that what you're going to be doing is improving your stuff, not your character. Um, I need to build quick platforms to get over this. Yes. Okay. So we're going to build a quick platform. Nope. Not what I want to do. There we are. Now, the quick platforms, um, they work pretty well, but you have to kind of play with them to make sure you get them in the right spot. Um, it can be really challenging to get the to get them placed, and if you place them in things that are going to be uh, you're going to dig through later on, they will collapse. So you want to make sure you're trying to put them against stuff that is actually going to um, uh, stick around. It'd be more the substantial construction like this wall here is. Okay, here we go. It's big, man. Big baby dig. <clears throat> Okay, and here we are. And then jump up here, and there's nothing. Okay. Bunk to bunk. You know, I'm a little washed out. I'm gonna turn this down a smidge. Okay, it's probably okay. All right, it doesn't help that I'm wearing white, but. <laughs> okay. Now these barrels can be really good. It's these ones here, especially with that um, the metal on them, because you get metal fragments. And you, like I said, you are gonna need the metal fragments from those. They also contain stuff. So they're actually containers. And so when you break them, what you'll sometimes find is that um, they are not just gonna give you the wood scraps, 
and the metal fragments, but there's also going to be something inside of the barrel that you can get. Okay. Doors of Durin. What's wrong with it? I've never seen runes with such shadow. No wonder we couldn't get it Ooh. open from the other side. Ah, oh, no wonder. All right. We spoke to the raven. Okay. So, explore into Durs. Doors of Durin cannot be opened, not while this strange shadow cursed rune lies upon them. Alright, so I have all these things here. Okay, there we go. Hey, look, Durin's folk. Alright, these intelligent Raven families have long helped Durin's folk. Resources. Hey, cloth scraps. Yes. You'll need cloth scraps for a lot of things. Um, I will say I've never really had a problem with cloth with cloth scraps um, in terms of things I need. Hey, an improvised axe. I will absolutely need that. Okay, cool. Um, and you can also separate out. Here's all of your stuff, or you can just look at weapons and tools, or you can search your recipes for things in particular. So um, that's kind of cool from that perspective. All right, and here we now have essentials and crafting and wooden stones. So. Essentials in crafting will be things like a memorial flame, which is why I was talking about the hero's token. When you find dwarven remains, you honor them, you get a hero's token. You collect five of those, you can make a memorial flame. With the wooden stone, this is going to be anything that you're going to use to build or improve upon your uh, your bases or your... Um, Doors of Durin. What do you call it? What's um, wrong with it? I've uh, never your seen camps. <clears throat> No wonder we couldn't get it open from the other side. Okay. Hey, look. Stuff. Another barrel with stuff in it. What did it have in it? Looks like it had... Cram! Ooh, cram is good. Cram is a portable food source. Most of the food sources, especially early in the game, you're only going to be able to use them right when you make them. So the problem that you're going to run into is that uh, it is going to... You have to make it and then consume it right then. And then if you sleep, then you have to consume more. <laughs> so, hey, Fellowship's Journey. I found a wee set of Shire made travel plates and forks. Must have been left behind by one of Lord Gimli's Hobbit companions, perhaps all resting after the Watcher trapped them inside Moria. I must be on the same path Gandalf and Gimli led them. A very good omen. They made it out, and so can we. I. By myself. All right, I'm going to come back to clear this stuff out later. Ooh, look, a sword that I can't use. Interesting. All right, hold on, i got to move that to there and that to there. Ooh. Now, down here, you can see both your light and your dark so whether if you're in darkness this will end up being over here and it will show you i mean, I'll, I'll do that real quick show you so right now it's like sort of like day time ish so it's it's twilight so it's not really that dark yet so there's still a little bit of light i'm not going to get um into the the despair and that kind of stuff of being in darkness but if i put my torch up then i'm asleep in light this is your health bar this is your food bar and you can it says health and food and it tells you how hungry or how um uh how full you are when you are into the dark you begin to have despair and um you know you can actually die from that and then your morale is down here the bar underneath that so when you're looking at that that's kind of what those uh those elements are on your quick bar so you can just kind of see them now here we are in Westgate. Now Westgate's the first camp that you're going to get. Oh, and climb across. Okay. Now what we need... Oh boy. Oops. Hi, Eric. An outpost of Balin's company. We can shelter here. Yes, we can. And we will. Oh, Eric, what news? Ah, there's no way west. No way out. I did not think we would see shadow cursed runes in Moria. Our path then must be. Hey, this... old boy. How you doing, man? Long journey. You must prepare. Up here, at that old dwarven camp. You're right. It's time to find shelter before making our way farther. I will scout ahead. Stay alive. With luck, we'll exit the Dimril Gate. For now, oh. 
I want that rat. Feast the long dark of Moria. Yes, very much. Now, one of the problems that I find with this game is that when you hit the craft menu, hit C, the first thing it wants to make is an improvised axe, which 98% of the time is not what you want to make. What you want to make is a torch. I need a better weapon for this. Oh, I got it. Where's that rat? There he is. Ha ha! I got the meat. All right. So the first thing you do here is rebuild the stone hearth. The stone hearth is going to let me uh, get the information about um, um, making food and stuff. Now, right here is a meal table. <clears throat> so because I've already made a meal table, I can now do things like make roast meat once I get enough meat to do that. Um, I also, there's like a coal pallet. There's a hearth and a forge over here so I can rebuild the furnace. Sorry, not a hearth, a furnace. And because I have enough stone, I'm just able to simply rebuild it. Ta-da, there we go. But now I need iron ingots. And so that's going to mean I'm going to have to go mine some iron to go get those. But what I need right now, there's a sunion. Uh, sunions are really good. They're, they're a nice little... Um, there we go. Now I can make some meat. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, he disappeared. Um, there are orcs and goblins in the... And they will dig. Uh, they'll dig in and stuff. I need to make some stuff. The first thing I gotta do is make some food. You can make mushroom stew. Let's make some mushroom stew. Okay. And you can add portions to that. So, all right, I'm gonna break this down. And I'm going to break down the other side of this. And then I'm gonna put walls and a door... Now, one of the strange things that they have in this is that there's a, um, what do you call it? Uh, there's a, you can make a simple door or you can make a door frame. And it's weird. Oh, there you go. See how it's making that little um, uh, markings across it to show that it's, that you're breaking it apart. And I am very glad to hear that. Mole boy. Um, I am still looking myself, so I get it. Hey, food's done. Job's done. Okay. All right, I'm going to eat some food because I'm starving. Okay, there we go. Make that. There we go. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build. Look at all the stuff that I can build now that I have unlocked a whole bunch of Thing. So, okay, we're going to make uh, stone windows. I'm going to put those here on either side. And then I'm going to put a stone door. So there's a simple door and there's stone archway. And then you could build like a door to put in the archway. But you can just build a simple door and it will build the door into the frame for you, which is kind of nice. Uh, to close the menus, just hit B. Uh, so you to open it, you hit B, and then to close it, you just hit B again. So it's kind of nice from that perspective. It's a little, it's relatively straightforward uh, for opening and closing stuff. You don't have to really kill yourself to, to do things too much. Start the new year. That would be good to have something lined up. Yep, exactly. Even as a good chance of going hybrid. Ah, oh, see? That hybrid thing, man. All right. Um, I, I agree. It's, it's a hard thing and the, it's, I, I've seen a lot of companies doing that where they, where they're starting off remote and then trying to go hybrid. And I don't mean that like, oh, well, we're doing, you know, hybrid, um, what do you call it? Uh, where we're moving to hybrid because now we, you know, we don't have a pandemic to worry about. I think it's like, no, it's like they intentionally are hiring people with the expectation that they're going to um, uh, bring them in uh, to an office later on. And I just, I think that's just bad, um, bad management, but you know, that's me, I guess. Okay, um, I need to get one over here. Is that facing the right one? Yes, it is, okay, it's hard to tell. All right. 
and I hope so. I hope that there is some wiggle room for you there. Um, I, I have been looking for work now for four, three months, and still, um, what I've got is an awful lot of um, talking to people and um, uh, you know, submitting resumes. I've submitted over a hundred. I've submitted for over a hundred jobs, and I haven't even had a phone screen yet. Um, and the uh, rates are like half <laughs> of what um, they would be. So I don't. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that, but there you are. I have to build a bedroll and claim it. Yeah, so I'll build a bedroll. Build bedroll. This is where you need your uh, cloth scraps for. So, okay. and then you can also uh, hit escape to get out of the um, uh, build menus if you wanted to. So I am pretty full, but I do want to make some more mushrooms. I can make medley skewers actually. Let's do that because that's got onions. You don't want to make too much food either because it will spoil. So just like make enough that uh, for what you're going to need. Um, I think though that I might rest because it's nighttime. When do we attack? Yep. And I agree with you on that, mole boy. That there's an awful lot of that um, kind of mindset going on where, you know, uh, I actually wrote an article on my blog about it. Um, because I feel like there's just an awful lot of companies trying to justify the amount of money they've invested into their um, um, commercial real estate holdings. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Hey, there we go. All right. I need to make a thing here at some point. No, I do not want to get coal. I'd like to deposit coal, please. Thank you. Okay. I don't need coal. What I need to do is make a chest. So, okay, rotate that puppy. Yep, that's fine. Put him there. Excellent. Okay, cool. Because I want to put this crap away in there. And that and that. Perfect. Okay, let's go see if we can find ourselves some iron. Scraps, some wood scraps, more wood scraps. Yeah, and then the problem is you also have a whole bunch of politicians who are looking at reduced tax revenues and they're like, oh, we need people to come down and spend money at our place because, you know, we're, we're, we're seeing, you know, lower lower taxes. It's like, yeah, because people don't have to come into town anymore because you're not forcing them to go to a job at a site outside of where they live. So um, there's just an awful lot of, um, well, honestly, greed involved, but you know. Ooh, I very much like to get that rat. Aha, I got him. Yay. Okay. Now. Aha! There we go. Oh crap, I got rid of all my stone. <laughs> I'm gonna need like 10 to rebuild this dude. I guess I can go get the stone, but. How much do I have? Seven! It's not gonna be enough. I need a hammer too. Hold on. Can I make. I, I can make a wood flare. You know, I've never really made wood flares. It has never really been a thing that I've needed to do. Right, we go. Now you'll notice what I did there was I jumped up. Um, because I'll show you in a second what I did. Start singing! And you get your mining song that helps you with your um, your mining efficiency. You can also see where the, the dot is. That's where I'm mining. So you can actually see where you're actually digging and stuff, um, which can be really useful when you're into the bottom parts of things. 
and it's kind of hard sometimes to see like where am I um, actually hitting. <laughs> um, so like right there, it's like well, where am I actually striking my axe? Because uh, sometimes you'll end up with little pieces that are left over, and then all you have to do is just try to get that little dot onto the piece that you're trying to get, and then it will really get it for you. Now you'll see I'm also picking up things like citrine. If you look in the, the, the right there, you'll see that right right there. See how that was a little piece of iron that was left that I couldn't get to. But because I could see where I was striking with my axe, I could get to it. All right, so now I've got some iron. I can make some iron ingots. And when I make my iron ingots, I can rebuild the forge. And the forge will let me do stuff like make swords and stuff and armor, which will be very useful. I do need to get the... Um, recipes for stuff and again since you're not really leveling up in the game you can only improve your equipment ah my axe broke i'm just going to make a new axe if i can can i i can good okay. yay excellent all right i'm gonna build a platform here because that ain't cutting it there we go There we are. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I now have enough stone, though, to go build that guy. I need a hammer, though. So I need to go make a hammer. Now this is a treasure. Come here, snack. He's a snack rat. It's pretty sad. But yeah, to your point, well, oh boy, there are a lot of people who are, a lot of companies that are trying really hard to justify their expenditures, which is, I mean, you know, to me, that kind of sounds like really not the smartest investment, you know? I mean, maybe it's just me, but there we go. I need at least three to make the, make the forge, right? Yes, I need three iron ingots. So it tells me right there underneath the forge that says zero, three iron ingots. So I gotta wait about a minute for that to go. This uh, medley skewers should take about a minute also, so we're good. So let's talk real quick. <laughs> um, yeah, I think of what's one of those challenges that we have is that the. Um, um, fuck, talk to fuck, IT folks who are willing to. Willing to just. Who are. Hold on quite based on companies pushing back on the office stuff. Yeah. Uh, oh, just quit based on companies. But yes, there are a lot of folks who are like, you know what? I don't need this. Um, and I actually, I mean, I've seen people, I, one of my, my best friend, his wife got laid off because her company decided to consolidate its offices rather than continue to support like all these satellite offices. So yay for cost cutting. And then they said, you can either get laid off or move to one of these consolidated offices. That was it. Those are the choices. And it was like, from Denver, it was like, yeah, you have to go to Dallas. And she was like, I'm not moving to friggin' Texas. Sorry, it's not happening. So uh, she ended up getting laid off um, because of that, because she couldn't move. So it's... I mean, there's some also, there are some good decisions being made and some really bad decisions being made. So, um, yeah, it's it's a problem. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, it's it's like this, this combination of like reasonable management and horrible management all rolled up into one. You know, I just, I don't get it. Okay, so, hey, we can make an iron hammer now. Not want to do that. I want to make an iron hammer and I need two iron ingots. Cool. Let's make some iron ingots. Okay, there we go. And we got two more of those dudes. I also need to make an iron sword and I need three iron ingots and some hide scraps. Ooh, I need hide scraps. Okay, so I need three. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna need that. And now I need to get some hide. And now hide, I'm going to have to get from. Oh, the boar, guys. Okay. All right. I have to get hide scraps. So hide scraps are like cloth scraps, but they're from animals. Now, there are... The rats will only give you meat. They're just like snack rats. 
and they will give you the meat. Um, but what you need to do, and I gotta get a shield here or something too. Well, I'm not gonna worry about that quite yet. Okay. Um, anyway, the hide scraps are going to be uh, those things you're gonna get from higher level animals. So they're gonna be tougher to kill, number one, uh, but also they're going to be um, definitely more, um, they're gonna get more stuff. You're gonna get the hide scraps and you're gonna get, um, I have to cook the roast meat, sorry. I'm looking at my things in the upper right. And then I have to eat the roast roast meat on table. Okay. How much roast meat do I have? Oh, hold on. I gotta make a iron pallet thing here. Uh, iron ore pallet. There we go. That dude. Right. There. Score. All right. Can I add more? I cannot deposit anymore because I've deposited it all. Okay. <laughs> um, anyway. Uh, like I said, I'm just I'm seeing this combination of good management and bad management ideas, and it's really obnoxious. But I do know a lot of folks who are like, you know what? I'm not gonna buy, I'm not gonna do that either. I'm just you know, just like you're gonna make me come back to an office, then sayonara, sucker. Um, which is unfortunate that we kind of have to be in that space. But you, sometimes you got to be in that space, you know. Um, I need hide scraps for that dude. I do not need hide scraps for a shield. Actually, I'm going to make that shield. And then I'm going to put... Did I make the shield? I don't see the shield. I did not make the shield. Make the shield. Thank you. Okay. Now, I'm going to put the shield. Um, I put that as number four. Put that up there. Oh, look, I found some quartz. As I found some crystal flares. Cool. Throwable torch. I haven't really ever used those before. Um, but yeah, there's a, like, like I, said, I, I have been reading like on LinkedIn especially and stuff that there's people who are like, you know what? Sayonara. I'm out of here. Peace. So, um, yeah, I get it. A thousand percent. I understand why. I, I mean, it makes a lot of sense. And I get pinged about a lot of hybrid or um, not even hybrid rule about, you know, like on site. And I'm like, I'm not doing on site. Um, I am done with that crap. Um, if I can do, if I can get away with it, I'm done with that crap. Um, and um, yeah, so there you are. Um, you know what? I'm not gonna that. You can carry 99 of the wood scraps, metal fragments, and stone in one stack. So sometimes it's useful to have all of that stuff on you so that you don't have to worry about it. Oops, I'm gonna put that guy as number eight. Perfect, okay, now we can go rebuild this. Oops, I need to craft a torch. See how I was making improvised ax, the primary thing? I don't want that, I want the torch to be my primary but now we can go build this guy and he will probably give us a recipe we'll see what the recipe is yes an iron war axe so that will be our next thing probably hi dude speed's gone right maybe we'll find it There we go, some hide scraps. Hey, I found a recipe for a scout pack, which I don't need. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, uh, and I can get some cloth scraps. So now here's another thing. Here's a musnikon. A musnikon is a chest that requires a bunch of different uh, statues to unlock. So you have to put these. Um, uh, so this is particular for Ori, who is um, one of the, the dwarves, uh, dwarven lines. But you have to get five of the Musnikon's carvings. And then once you place them, then it will allow you to unlock it. And inside you'll find like, you know, resources and that kind of stuff. So it can be really helpful for getting some of those, um, some of those nicer things. You can also sometimes find, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, recipes in there. So that can be very useful as well. Ooh, this is a different place than where I've been before. 
So this, oh no, here we go, stone hearth, there we go. So now I have a hearth um, that I can use for stuff. I did not say to do that, but that's okay. I get why you're confused, it's okay. Wow, look at that. Oh, nice, nice. And I did not want to do that, but I did it anyway. So, what you can do with this also is repair stuff. So I can repair this staircase. And it takes a lot to repair. But now what I can do is I can actually put a couple of platforms here. Or I put a platform here so that I can climb that. And I can get up here. And I can get this stuff. Okay. Um, you can also use, as I just did there unintentionally, uh, you can use multiple, you can use your weapons to like break stuff. So it doesn't have to be just your pickaxe, although your pickaxe is pretty good at that stuff. Um, but it doesn't have to always just be your pickaxe. You can do it with other stuff too. Um, you can use an axe, you can use your sword, whatever. Uh, but your items do get damaged. So sometimes like, you know, a weapon or a, an item like your pickaxe is useful because it's sort of intended to break. All right, what do we got back here? We got a bunch of stuff back here I want to grab. There's that and that and that. I want to break that dude. Nope, I just completely destroyed that, that thing. There we go. Cool. Darkness of night falls. Uh-oh. That's usually when the orcs come out. So. Um, now, sometimes you'll be in a situation where the orcs come out and you're going to get um, really worked because um, there's a lot of them. Um, there are hordes Shh, that will show quiet. up sometimes. I see prey ahead. Ooh. That is a very nice... Thing that has that is uh, we called it the luck llama when we first stumbled upon it. Um, it is not a luck llama. It's some kind of elvish creature. I forget what it's called. Um, but anyway, it um, it's kind of funny. But it's uh, it's quite quite a nice little thing actually. So ooh, I got a I got Ori's Uznakan. So here we go. So now I've got one of five. So I can go ahead and put that back. I'm and there we go. To a family of old. I'll return the missing figures. Honor them. And there we go. And we've added one. And so now we gotta find four more. So it's not too bad. There we go, there's some snack. Snack rat. Now, I do remember when I was playing with my son that he kept building stuff, like, really quickly. He's like, oh, should we, we should build this, we should build that, we should build these things. And it's like, you're going through all of our stuff. <laughs> it's kind of hard because he was really excited about building things. And I was really happy that he was excited about building things. By the same token, it was like, but, but, journey bread. Ooh, that is my first time running across that ration. It's a complex ration. So it was cram. Cool. All right. Uh, I can leave that there. I can leave those there. You can also, you can make wood pallets and stone pallets and that kind of stuff. Um, that's, you're able to do those things. Um, and it will, hey, here are my hide scraps. Um, and it can be useful for, for doing that. I need two more iron ingots. The other thing that's kind of nice is that if you have, <clears throat> so for instance, I've just gone through all of my iron ore. You see, I've got zero of three left. Uh, to make an iron ingot. When you have things that are like stored in chests or on a pallet in your base, um, in the area of effect of your stone hearth, anything that you're using with the furnace or the forge will pull from your stores. So it'll pull from your inventory first, I think, and then it will pull from the stores. So if you're carrying things, like if you want to use stuff up, then it will pull from your inventory. But if you're just like, sticking stuff into chests and all that and you don't have to go like grab three ingots from over here and this hide scrap and the, 
it'll pull it for you automatically. If it's available, it'll just simply bring it in, which is really kind of handy, so. I do not know why I am not getting notifications about new texts and stuff. It is very interesting. I think this might All right, ready. Cool. Got it. Grab it. Make a sword. Oh, a sword. The axe is handy, but I like the sword better. Oh. Hriraras. These are blazingly pale white deer. These are these are the ones. These are the, are the luck llamas as we called them. <laughs> the scent of elven power attracts them. They seek it in the stone of the elven halls, hunt for good meat and hides of excellent quality. And they do, um, there's actually two different kinds. There's ones that are like does that are uh, antlerless or horn, I guess they, they would be antlers. Um, and then there are ones with antlers that would be like, I guess the stags and they uh, drop a lot of food and they drop a lot of meat and hide. And that hide can be used to make better armors. So again, the better stuff that you're going to be making is going to require better ingredients and those ingredients are going to come from those those creatures so all right so here's that hide scraps again oh. they're attacking me all right hold on uh we're gonna swap that dude out okay here we go they're trying to beat down my door Now I'm charging my weapon here, and it lets me do more damage. Or you can just attack uh, multiple times. And sometimes you can see like I just did 50 points of damage to these guys, um, which can be really good damage. And then he's running away. The siege has ended. Yeah, but there's still a cave bat. Come here, cave bat. Oh, I got bat droppings. Cool. Yeah, baby. Hi. Oh, you guys are running away. Running away, are we? Yellow levered. Yellow bellied. All right, now I gotta repair my stuff. Because they beat it up. Oh, hello. Hi. Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> so you see here, my health is at 85, 85%, 97%. Not a huge, they didn't do a whole lot of damage. but And it does take a, a while for them to beat your stuff down. But they will beat it down. They absolutely will beat it down. So, um, let me just see here real quick. That's really weird. Okay, well, I'll leave it up. Hopefully, I'll get the notifications now. So, you'll also hear that a lot. <laughs> just random, like, large blocks of crap falling. Okay, I am going to do that, and then I'm going to go sleep. Now, I'm not trying to speed run this by any stretch, so um, we're not going to be doing that. The reason I do that, uh, like I start making food and then sleep, is because if you have something that's really long, like these medley uh, skewers, then it takes a while to make them and you can wait around for it. But when you sleep, you actually use up half of your um, uh, food. So you wake up kind of like a little bit hungry. So if you if you make the food, go to sleep, and then you wake up, the food will be ready. And when you eat it, you're full, which is kind of nice. See how I'm, I'm at the well-fed status here, this well-fed. So all actions take less energy, and which is really kind of nice. So um, Also, you can see here, here's a sunion. And because it's regrown just now, there's only one of them. If I wait, I can get another one. Or I can get it now. 
uh, get the one now. The, the benefit of getting it now is that you can use it immediately um, to like make more of these skewers and stuff. Um, but you can also build farm patches and those farm patches will be really useful for when you are doing um, your, um, what do you call it? Uh, when you're getting into higher level foods uh, or even when you're doing things like mushrooms and stuff because you're going to need mushrooms a lot. So having uh, mu all multiple mushrooms is useful. Yeah, baby. Got it. That was nice. Okay. Ah, missed. Now you generally can run a little bit longer than the rats can. So, um, hey, it's some coal. We're going to need coal, but we really need more iron. And I really need to start exploring more of this mine because I got to get to other parts. There we go, mining song. And now what I like to do um, when I'm mining in this stuff is to dig up because you're digging little platforms and then you can jump into those platforms and then dig more um, and dig higher so that you're not putting yourself into a position where you've like now got to suddenly build a whole bunch of stuff in order to get access to the, the minerals. Um, you can um, use the space itself to put yourself higher. So like this, I'm, I'm, now I can dig up without having to go, having to make any platforms. It works reasonably well most of the time. It's not, it certainly isn't a foolproof method, uh, but it does tend to work pretty well. So you see here, I'm already like at the very top here. So digging down into the stuff is going to be really a lot easier then. You have to be a little bit careful though sometimes because when you're in these spaces and you see these uh, wood structures, when you're digging for the ore, you can sometimes beat the uh, structures and then suddenly they collapse and then you can fall a little bit. You really need to fall quite a distance to take damage. And there is a little trick. If you can roll right when you're hitting the ground, then you like avoid taking a lot of damage. So um, there is that as well. So just be... Oh, I am full up, man, apparently. I think I've got multiple 30s here. That's what's going on. Multiple stacks of 30. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Um, all right, let's leave those. Grab all that. There we go. Cool. All right. Let's go take this back. Get my sword. And since this is the first camp that you're going to get, you're going to acquire a lot of stuff and leave it here. Um, and so it's you're going to be just sort of as an FYI, um, it's going to be a lot of things that you're going to uh, have here. You'll want you'll want to eventually rebuild this map stone so that you can get back here quickly. It fast travel in the game doesn't work quite like fast travel in other games. It, it actually takes time. Uh, it's just that it doesn't consume that time in your play. So it takes game time, but not playing time, which is kind of an interesting um, approach. But uh, they were having problems, apparently, where people would um, be playing and like they would um, um, what do you call it uh, like their characters would show up like they'd fast travel and they would like be dead of hunger <laughs> it was like well that didn't quite work as intended Nice. Okay. Got some scraps. Ooh, I got a Muznikon. Nice. Okay. Hey, I can rebuild the statue. This is going to give me an iron war axe. 
Nope, Iron Hill gloves. Okay, good. So when you're looking at your character, you can see you can have a helmet, a uh, shirt, uh, pants, and gloves, and then a pack. And the pack, um, the, the best one to get in the early game is going to be the Adventurer's Pack. Uh, but it does take time to get it. You're not going to get it right off the bat. So, hey, wood scraps, metal fragments. Hey, built on. That is a um, another uh, portable food, which is really handy to have. Uh, hey, there we go, some more stone. Excellent. Okay. Now here is iron. Let's see, it says iron ore right there. If you have your uh, pickaxe selected, when you highlight ore, it will tell you what kind of ore it is, uh, which can be really handy. So, all right, let's go back though. I do like these lamps, they're really cool. I wish you could build them, but I haven't found a way to do that yet. Dwarf remains, honor those, but I can't get that hero's token because I'm carrying too much stuff. Let's go do Ori's Muznikon real quick. We'll come back at the token and bring it back to the, the base. <clears throat> And now you see that yellow bar going down next to me as I'm running. That is my stamina. Um, obviously, the more you run, the lower that goes. Um, or when you're when you're mining or doing anything that's physically exerting, then you will be consuming your stamina. There it is. Got the hero's token. Got it. And in the bottom right, you can see the things you're picking up. So like, if you pick something up and you're like, what the hell was that? You can look real quick in the right-hand corner and it will tell you, oh, you got metal fragments or you picked up a, a Muznikon carving. And then that'll help you understand like what it is that you're getting. Because sometimes it can be hard to know what some of this stuff is because it's just not obvious. It's non-obvious. Okay. I'm doing okay for how... All right, what have we got? Uh, I do not have any of that or any of that. I need to put that away, put that away, that away, that away. Um, hmm. I'm, oh, let's put the scraps away to make the scraps. <clears throat> we need the flares. Yeah, flares are kind of useful. Haven't really used them that much. Okay, how do I use the flare? Well, hello. How are you? Um, doesn't tell me how to use it. Throwable. Yeah. Not giving me an option to throw it. <laughs> okay, there you are. That's funny. Um, now, I will say one thing is that these learning the game achievements that you get, like you can see up here, I've got 18. Um, sometimes you'll get these and then you can't get rid of them. It's like they just, there's there's a bug. It's like if you didn't see them before you completed them, then it doesn't catch it. It's kind of weird. I don't know what's going on. But there's a light meter to explaining that. Orcs survived. Uh-oh. It was too much to hope the orcs of Moria marched to war and never returned. They either survived or never left. How many orcs still play these mountains is uncertain. Well, it's infinite because... Oh, hello. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wolves. Wolvies. Get out of there. Damn it. <laughs> what are you doing? You can also get hide from wolves. Um, sometimes um, those guys didn't give me any, but I have a cram. You know what? I'm going to do that guy. Okay. Yeah, it's not letting me throw this thing. It's really weird. I don't, I don't know what's going on. It's, really, it's obnoxious. No, I don't want to punch. I want to throw. I don't want to call out. <laughs> well, there's a reason why I haven't used flares before. <laughs> okay. Am I done? Did I... 
Everything done, I want to get that. I guess I'll put the crystal flares away because all they're doing is consuming space in my inventory that I do not need to consume. Um, so, one more real quick thing about the um, your chests. Um, and I've heard this a couple of times from different people. Um, people are like, use the chests to store your stuff because it's better than the pallets. Um, it is, in a way. Um, so if you look at a pallet, um, like I'll show you these pallets over here, these pallets on the floor, um, your pallets are not going to store a ton of stuff. Like for instance, well, this one stores 825, which would be, in essence, nine stacks of iron um, in a chest. Um, whereas this stores, oh no, these both store 825. These are new. That's new. They've updated that. Because it only used to store like 275 or something. It's really kind of weird. Um, you can also build like wood pallets that will store wood. Um, obviously, kind of a nice thing to have. Um, I'll put this guy over here in the corner. You can, I'll show you. Okay, so. No, he stores 450. So I think now that um, these are storing a bit more, this, these seem like pretty good um, uh, options for storing stuff. But people were saying things like, oh, you should store stuff in your, um, what do you call it, uh, in the the chests because you get better um, storage out of it. <clears throat> but I think now that they've, they seem to have bumped up the numbers, because I thought it was like 425 and like 250 for some of these things. But now that it's like 825 for those and it's 500, for, that's a lot. Um, 450 and 525, yeah, that, this used to be like 175 for the stone pallet. And now that it's 525, that's a huge amount of stone. That it can store so um that's really good i i'm actually really impressed um that's a much better um uh thing than it was so yeah i i would definitely use the pallets to store stuff because you can get so much more um stored there okay oh we need to make ori's key a yep there we go chest. ori's key let's get you open see what you what keep in need? secret iron ingot Yep, so here's another thing. Uh, you'll also find these chests. Um, they will be in these former um, Balan outposts that you find. Um, I found two outposts so far that have these chests um, in my regular game. So um, they're there to be found. So Now I guess the question is, do we want to go forward or do we want to go left? You know what? What's over here? Oh, there's an up. Let's go, let's go look up. Oh, wait, there's stuff here. What do we get? Ooh, got tomatoes. Or oh, grab apples, sorry. Got some grab apples, got some cram. Nice. Again, cram can be really good. It's a portable food, so it's nice that... Ooh, Durin's Axe Fragment. Holy crap. Well... That was unexpected. I did not think that I was going to find an axe fragment here. Uh, one of the quest elements here is that you're trying to find uh, Durin's axe. And so um, you find pieces of it uh, scattered throughout Moria. Um, and usually in both of the games that I've played so far... Ooh, hello. Uh, in both the games I've played so far, they were found much later in the in the map. So I'm a little shocked by this. Wow, can we... What is up here? Okay, well, there's a place here. And there's a pallet. We got those. Wow, this is just kind of fascinating. I'm doing zero damage to that floor. <laughs> okay then. But now back on this floor. Cool. All right. I climbed that ladder. Wow, that was really interesting up there. And we've got the first fragment from Durin's Axe, which is like a huge thing. So yay yeah, us. And there's some more cram. Wow, we are, this seed is actually not too bad, <laughs> you know? We're getting some good stuff out of this. So here's a stove that we could make, but we're not going to make this stove. 
So we may as well break it apart and get stuff, whatever we get out of it. Um, I don't think we got anything out of it. Interesting. Take a mug of ale. Ooh, there we go. Evening ale. Drink it. Now this will be good. So that's actually amazing because it's early evening. Uh, I'm going to put this carving there. So now we only have two left. Two more. Two more carvings. Okay. But now, because I have this evening ale. So evening ale is something that you can brew later that will give you some, will give you a, a buff uh, when the day starts. So what I'm going to do here is sing. There are many treasures deep beneath the mountains of the dwarves. For some you must go digging while the others must be poured. And when the search for one is done, then all the dwarven brothers take their halls into the halls to start to seek another. Yay, there we go. And I slammed it. I'm in high spirits. And I'm going to make some food. Um, we're gonna make some medley skewers. And I'm gonna sleep. Oh, there we go. And now I have awakened and I have food. Eat my food. Nom, nom, nom. And I'm a Drake hunter today, which, so this is the, but you get a buff at the beginning of the day if you go to sleep in high spirits after having evening ale. So in this particular one, I said, I woke up with a bonus damage against Drakes and Dragons. Because, yeah, um, there's that. Um, and I'm obviously not going to stumble upon any drakes or dragons anytime soon, so not a big deal. I am going to grab that, however, because I have a good place to put it over here. Okay, what am I at now? I'm at 42. I got plenty of fun. Okay. Now, the one thing that's interesting is that metal fragments are a thing that you can get, but there's no pallet for it. You have to put metal fragments in chests. So that's kind of a strange that so they have a pallet for every other resource. They just don't for metal fragments. So I don't understand that decision, but um, there you are. So all right, we're at 108 coal. Uh, I've got food. I've got more food. Oh, grab apples. I'll put those over there now. Do not want to grab apples. Don't need them with me. Try to organize this a little bit better. Now, see here, you got 50 of the, the um, what do you call it, uh, cloth hides. Um, so yeah, that's that's all you can that's all you can get um, for that uh, particular. Um, that kind of goes there ish. Um, you can only make stacks of 50, so, um, and you can only in your um, inventory, too. See, if I try to add that, it doesn't, it, so, um, it's the maximum you can carry. For some items is 50, the max is sometimes 99, depending on the resource, so, um, just sort of be aware. Okay, get our, we don't need the, our light. Oh, we're still in the dark, whoa, hello. Yellow. They're pretty good about trying to get behind you and stuff, so you got to be a little bit cautious about that. Die. All right, now I am bone cold. So I, if you noticed in the bottom left, it said that I was cold. And then as I got colder and colder, I got bone cold. Um, that's because it's still dark. I woke up before the sun rose. So now we're at first light. Um, 
So I'm probably... I need to kind of wait till dawn breaks. Then I'll be able to do that. Okay. See, it's still first light. And then here's my mushroom, and again, you can see it's just one. Dawn is at hand. So now, my, you see, the cold is going down now, because now that it's dawn, it's not freezing anymore, which is kind of nice. And the sunion has not yet grown back, as you can see. Ooh, wood scraps. Um, again, explore the whole area around your base because there is a lot of there are a lot of resources. There's a lot of stuff here. Um, some of it is really handy. Um, it has a lot of stuff on. Like here's scattered remains, right? Get cloth scraps times three and metal fragments times one. Here's a whole bunch of stuff that you can break and get all of this stuff. Um, which can be really useful. There's a bunch of wood scraps, cloth scraps. Um, cloth scraps obviously good for making bed rolls and stuff, but um, sometimes when you break a, um, a vessel, you can find stuff inside of it, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Stone. And now we're on the other side of the, the chasm that we were on. And there's also a downstairs, I, you can see there's like a, there's a place down there where this uh, water is. Now you can't swim, which is a little strange. Cranberries, ooh cool, that actually is a good, I have never found cranberries here, that's nice. Uh, cranberries are another resource to make really good stuff. Hey, it's mushrooms. And you see here it says mushrooms times two. Again, that's because it's my first time getting them. But it's also sometimes the, the uh, if you leave it and don't um, uh, harvest it for a while, you'll get um, two mushrooms. Uh, if you farm them, you can get up to four. So it can be beneficial to farm the, mu the mushrooms and stuff. Have I been in here? Yes. No, I've not. My first time being in here. Ooh. Muznikon. Carving. Need one more and then I can open that chest. I need to get more um, uh, iron ingots though so that I can uh, make a key for that chest though. Because I used all of my iron to make the stuff I'm wearing and crap. Uh, I'm also going to need to get more because I'm going to need to, you know... Ooh, a coin! Okay, so coins are going to let you build treasure caches. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, so, uh, but I need, I, I needed, uh, you, you're going to need your, um, uh, what do you call it? You're going to need that stuff for um, making armor as well. So and I, I, need to make, I need to make armor. Ooh, wood scraps and jade. Nice. Okay, there we go. Get the wood scraps, get the wood scraps. Come on, come on. Metal fragments. Nice. Plus scraps, nice. Wood scraps, wood scraps. Okay, we got lots of wood scraps. We have more metal fragments than I can shake a stick at. Or a metal fragment at. There we go. There we go. Cool. All right, we are at 89. We're pretty much full. Oh, got a mushroom. Scattered remains. Oh, hello. Ooh, feathers. Ooh, and I can get them too. Excellent. Okay, feathers will be useful for making um, uh, arrows later. We don't have the stuff to make it right now, but we will later on. Ooh, those sunions. They are. There's a bunch of them. Crap. All right, hold on. Now we'll get those. Mike. Uh, all right. 
Trying to figure out what I got. Is my... Hey, you know what's not working? Is my... Thing. It's not telling you what music is playing. Why are you not working? Hold on. Should be. You know what, let me try stopping that real quick and then relaunching it. See if that works. I'll try relaunching SNP too here. Don't know why that's not working. Should be tell should be telling you what um what song is playing. There we go. Now it's working. That's better. Okay. This is one of my favorite tunes by Uther Riley, too, so it kind of all works out. All right, what do I got? Stuffed mushrooms. Mmm, yummy. I make cranberries. Now, stuffed mushrooms are good. The best one that I have found, though, is uh, meat stew so far. That's, like, the best thing i found. I uh, eat to restore health, a lot of energy, and feel stuffed for a short time. So, cool. Let's do that. Let's make one of those, because I'd like to be well fed again. Uh, there's some cranberries, which we'll put there. Um, there is a quartz and some coins. Now, coins are going to let you build treasure caches. So dwarves, of course, love them some treasure. So what that does is it allows you to build a treasure cache and then you can put like precious jewels or semi-precious jewels. Like, for instance, the citrine is a semi-precious gem. You can see over on the right hand side there. Um, it's, it's a semi-precious gem, so it's going to say... Hey, look, you know, it, it, the value of the treasure cache is based upon the treasure you're going to put into it. So the more, um, so like here's some quartz and quartz. Quartz is a semi-precious gem. Jade is a semi-precious gem. But if you get into bigger things like sapphires or rubies or something, you're going to get into precious gems. And then that will improve the boost, the buff that you get from the treasure cache. You need at least 200 coins to make one. And you're going to need, um, and then uh, you can make bigger ones the more you get. So this one, actually, this one only needs 99, uh, but there's other ones you need like 200 or 400, and then you can make really big piles of money, and then um, it'll give you a buff for uh, treasure. So yeah, the more the more in the cash, the fiercer dwarves feel after admiring it. Uh, sort of the same thing with the um, uh, memorial flame is that when you honor it, you get a buff for a little bit of time. It's not very long. I mean, I'll say I'm a little disappointed with how small that buff is. Um, it's a cute buff, but it's not like... There we go. There's some hide scraps from... You guys thought I was lying, didn't you? I wasn't lying. I wasn't even hyena -ing. Um. But, um, yeah, it, um, it's, it's useful when you're, um, uh, we, like I said, when you can get a big, um, buff like that when you can get a big treasure cache it will actually give you a, a nice buff I, I think it's called horde fierce or something i think it's the buff um but yeah it's kind of cool it's it's nice because it does give you a buff and it's not you know like a ridiculously hey we've got two nice we placed two okay so now we've completed the musnacon we can open it up and check it out here's a plan Take, take, trapper hat. And there we go. And I got 20, 20 coins. Multiple recipes found. Cool, what did we get? We got a trapper hat. Scout pack. I already had scout pack. But 
Thank you for playing. So here's Heirloom Shield. <clears throat> so this is obviously going to be better than the uh, Iron Hill Shield. And it is a Tier 2. So this is what I was talking about before, about how you're not really improving your character, but you are improving your um, stuff that your character has. So you're going to get improvements to your character by eating better food, by drinking evening ale, by... Um, what do you call it? Uh, by getting better stuff, your dwarf is not going to like level up, which at some level kind of makes sense, right? You know, you're not going to, but I hear I can make a trapper hat. Cool. All right, so let's go do this. Go make that trapper hat so I can give myself a hat. Um, so you're, but you know, you're not like suddenly getting better and you're like, hey, I hit level three, so now I can, you know, I don't know. Um, Oh, come on. There we go. Sheesh. Cool. There we go. Okay. Got some stuff. Um, oh, let me grab those onion. Uh, I can't grab those onions. I still have the I still have the bloody feathers. Oh, okay, hold on. Hold up. Feathers, coins. <clears throat> Hey, sapphires, a precious gem. I remember I was talking about how precious gems will sometimes improve the quality of the treasure cache. That's what I was talking about. Okay. All right. There's that. There's that. Um, I'm going to build a iron. I can't build an iron ingot pallet because I don't have enough. I can, however, build a trapper hat. So let's do that real quick. Oh, I can build a raised kit. Key, and that'll help me get more. Um, uh, hopefully, I'm so I don't, nope, just more stuff. Hey, some lembus, more co more co more coins. Okay, we got some stuff. All right, there we go. Cool. All right. Um, so there's lembus. Uh, I can now build that iron ingot pallet. <laughs> Okay, let's put that guy there. Bam. Cool. All right. And deposit. Perfect. Now we've got six iron ingots on there, and it will hold 750. Yeah, they really bumped up the amount of stuff here. That is a ludicrous amount of stuff. Put that away. Put that away. I've got six crams. Wow. That's nice. My torch went out. No. Okay. Okay. I need a torch. All right. Afternoon. Let's go see what's straight ahead. We haven't gone straight ahead yet. There's a thing there you can see um, in the map. Uh, if I go to the map up here, you can see that there's a there's a little notch here. That means there's an exit. Um, there's one here too and one there. So there's, I know that there's a transition to another room over there somewhere. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to go do something real quick. Although I think we might almost be done with the stream today because it's our first stream back after a very long time. And, um, oh, I do not. Oh, I do. Never mind. Like, how can I not have enough art, enough, enough stone? But I did. It's okay. All right. What's over here? Food. That's what's over there. Okay. All right. And there's more stuff. Okay. But yeah, every time that you get a chance to go uh, rebuild one of those statues, do. Because it is never a bad thing, and it will give you plenty of good stuff. So. Yes, little one. I will help you in just a second. Here's some sunions. Let's grab some sunions real quick. Since we're, since we're here, hey, some wood scraps. Uh, you're going to look for sunions in the sunny areas, those places where the the sun is able to come down into the, the mines, like here. So if you look up, you can see where the the top is. And then usually you'll find sunions in that space, and that'll let you build make some of the better um, foodstuffs. So you're going to end up um, uh, just being in a little bit better space 
Um, hey, another built on. Um, but that'll let you, um, what do you call it, uh, just being a little bit better um, opportunities for uh, making better food. And better food is important in this game. Like I said, it's pretty much how you improve your character. There's no real other way to do it, so that's your choice. You'll also see up in the map, <clears throat> there's two hearths on the map. Those are your camps, and so it's kind of showing you like what your where your camps are, so um, which is kind of nice. Um, it does tell you at least where they are, so that um, if you're like, hey, where am I going here? Um, that you know, you know. Hey, look, I'm walking. I'm going toward a camp, or I'm going away from a camp, or whatever. So, lots of meat. Good. We need the meat. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So now let's put that away. That wow, 32 sunions. Damn, bro. Did not expect that. Okay, let's go put some, nope, there we go. Now, one of the strange things is that it will, um, oh wow, that's kind of nice. Look at that, it tells you everything. Stamina cost, attack stamina cost, it tells you all your stats right here. I actually have not ever clicked on that button, so there you are. So my maximum health is 100, taunt is 50, clank, my movement speed, my sprinting speed. Um, yeah, all of this stuff improves. Now, when you end up in the mines, in the lower right, there's going to be a, a little indicator of your danger. And so that's telling you kind of like, you know, hey, look, you're kind of, you know, you're making a lot of noise. You're attracting a lot of attention to you. Um, so you might not want to do that. Um, so anyway, just to kind of be there's there's some good indicators in places of um, kind of the things that you can stumble upon. Um, so just it, you the game is really good about just sort of like allowing you to explore the edges of the game without like going like, you know, full bore into like throwing you like an Elden Ring or a Dark Souls game where it's like you're thrown in the, in the deep end the very beginning of the game. Um, this really does a good job of slowly expanding the world, increasing the level of difficulty, making it so that you're able to keep up um, and meet the challenges without getting completely overwhelmed in the first, you know, day of playing, so... Uh, yes, heirloom shield, we're going to make that. And Iron Hill's armor, we're definitely going to make that. So let's go make that real quick, and then I think we'll call it a stream. Iron Hill's armor, because that will improve my armor. And then I need one more iron ingot. There we go. Bam, baby. Check that out. Now, this is your armor bar down here. Uh, as you improve your armor or get better armor, you'll start, you'll fill this line up and then you'll end up with little helmets showing you I've got one full bar plus this bar. And then you have another bar, you have another helmet, another helmet. And so as your, your equipment improves and you get more and more armor, you'll see those sort of add on and you'll, your bar will not like get to 100 and then stop. It's like here's 100 and then here's 100 more and here's 100 more. So as you add those helmets, you'll see that increasing, which is kind of cool. So can I make the trapper hat? Is that just something I can not crack? Can I craft? No. Weird. Oh, workbench. You need a workbench. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't make a workbench yet. Because <laughs> I don't have. Because to make a workbench, I need um, uh, elven wood. I don't have any elven wood yet. So, okay. Anyway, 
So let's go ahead and we will um, halt it here. Let me go ahead and make some medley skewers and start cooking that. Let's go get uh, some ale real quick and then we'll wrap up the stream here. I think the ale was over here. No. Yeah, it was. Wasn't it? Yes, it's in here. There we go. It's 22 left. Cool. All right. Oh, gods. So, anyway, we've got our ale, I think, still, yes. Do we have our ale? No, I think we got rid of our ale. I think because I had to attack the stupid guys, we lost the ale. Grab some more meat. We're good for meat. I'm not worried about it. Let's grab some more ale. Damn it. There. Okay, let's go back home. Drink the ale. Call it a night. Now, the other thing that you have to worry about is that as your as your equipment is being damaged, um, it will uh, degrade into the point where then it's it's useless. Um, so, like right now, you can see I've got a little bit of damage on my Iron Hills armor, so it's at 92.9% .9 durability. Um, you can repair that at a repair smithy, so um, we'll do that. Well, let's do this first. Billy has a ruby wine and Yari a car for mead. A bronze and stout for trout with trout fresh caught from the stream. Glowing has spied an opal cider, lovely to behold. But best of all, throughout the hall was hail of shining gold. Glug. And done. Okay, and now I'm going to go... Actually, I'm going to eat that, I think. And then I'm going to make some more. I was planning on eating that and then going to, to bed. Or I was planning on making that and then going to bed. So, all right. Anyway, there we are. Let's go back to here. And thank you guys for coming along. First stream in a long time. Um, not a long stream today. Um, just kind of getting back into the feel of things, making sure that things are working correctly. I'm gonna go back and watch the stream and make sure that everything worked properly and all that. But I think we did okay. Um, yeah. So thank you guys for coming along. It was a lot of fun. Um, and I hope that there was some elements of the game that were, that I was able to explain in a way that you understood that you can use when, when you're playing the game. Um, you know, again, one of the things from my perspective I think is really important is that um, it's, you know, from, a, from early on, you know, when I started playing like, you know, things like Pool of Radiance and crap, like way back in the day, you know, you got everything, you searched every chest every room every corner every bookshelf you know um and you find that in skyrim all the way up through skyrim and stuff i think that there's you know now that there's pushes for things like speed runs and stuff like the the desire for that sort of deep exploration isn't there i do think it can be valuable um especially in the early game in moria because it makes sure that you have the stuff that you need um because otherwise, then you have to go run off and try to find more stuff. So, like, for instance, I'm out of iron ore. I've got to find another iron ore vein somewhere. Um, and I haven't found one yet. So i got to go find one um, so that I can get more iron ore so that I can make other stuff. Um, you know, I don't need an iron war axe because I have an iron sword. So I'm good there. Um, but, you know, I do need to get other things. I do need iron for other stuff. So, um, you know, that's an example where... Um, you know, there's, I have not branched out far from my core base yet. Um, I did have spent a lot of time building up the stuff around it, exploring the spaces around it. 
um, and not really venturing far from it. Um, I need to get to the elven quarter because that'll get me elven wood and that kind of stuff. And then that will be useful. I can make a bow and I can make arrows and that kind of stuff. Um, and then uh, there's other things that that opens up later. And then you have to get close to getting to the mines. And at that point, a lot of stuff opens up. Uh, once you hit the mines, that's a pretty significant jump. Um, if you sort of think of the game as a series of steps... Uh, as you're going, like, for instance, we got attacked by a bunch of orcs. We had a war party come, and so that was one element, and then we found wolves, and that was another element. So we're sort of, like, getting more and more bad guys coming in. The bad guys are staying for longer, that kind of stuff. And as we're going, we're finding recipes. We're getting things like the being able to make armor, make swords, make axes, war axes, that kind of stuff. So the game is helping sort of like, you know, level you up at the same time they're leveling up the monsters. It does a very good job of that. Um, but once you hit the mines, that's sort of like when everything kind of like, that's a, a huge step. That's a gigantic leap. And then that has tremendous impact later on in the game. Um, so uh, anyway, thank you guys for coming. It was a lot of fun. Um, and thank you, especially for Mole Boy for stopping by. It was great seeing you, man. Um, I am going to try to start streaming a little more frequently um, now that since I'm not working and I'm trying to get this game done um, and out, um, I might be streaming some more. So uh, make sure to check out. I'm not going to stream at night, um, what I'm finding is that nighttime is it's too hard to stream. So I might move to daytime streams instead um, for a while at least. We'll see. Um, that might change later on um, as things progress. If I get a job, suddenly I'm working nine to five, then I can't stream during the day. But um, if I can, I will. Uh, but make sure to check it out. Uh, if you haven't joined the Discord, um, please do. There is a little link in the uh, for the Discord right there. That should take you to the Discord. Um, that There are announcements when I go live. Um, so please, you know, feel free to join that and check it out. Um, I am streaming both to Twitch and to YouTube, so please make sure to go check out my YouTube content uh, as well uh, after the stream. Um, don't want to get in trouble with Twitch. <laughs> uh, and um, yeah, thanks so much for coming along, and we will catch you on the next stream. And until then, thank you. Uh, if, you know, uh, fare thee well. I've got my new mug. Um, I actually had to get this uh, at the Ren Fair. Um, my old one was in bad shape. Um, and I took, I talked to the guy about it and he's like, yeah, no, that shouldn't happen. That's a plating issue. We'll replace that for you. And I was like, really? Well, thank you very much. And so he just gave me, he exchanged my very old one for this new one. And um, yeah, it's been great. So um, anyway, uh, thank you so much. Cheers. Appreciate you coming along. And we will catch you on the next stream.